is the moment. Tonight is the night. Hey guys, it's Crypto Me Analysis coming at you with a video update video on the graph. So, first thing first, let's look at the RSI, the stock RSI. So bearish, neutral. Price is still relatively above the previous area. So keep that in mind. We are um, we are bullish. So let's see. Uh, I would say, okay, 1682, did that break? Yeah, it did. Um, so the next area of support is 15. It needs to stay above 15 to uh, still be bullish. And then, okay. So 1491, 1502 areas can get tagged. Uh, you know, that would put the RSI probably extremely oversold and we'd get some sort of bounce. Um, the next target, well, it, it, to, to be to be considered really bullish, you need to get over 1965. So the targets are 19, need to get above 1965. Otherwise, it needs to hold for, uh, 1502, 1491. Uh, once that happens, we'll figure out where it's going to go. I don't know if it's going to go that low. Those are just worst case scenarios. So just FYI. Um, recent news that came out was uh, decentralized apps need to open access to decentralized data. The graph network gives developers and data consumers a fast, reliable way to uh, carry, uh, carry blockchain data using open APIs called subgraphs. So um, just FYI, they are um, putting out news and building out the uh, crypto. So 1.5 billion market cap, Plenty of ways to go. What was it at the all-time highs? So it hit five billion. So if you're like, if you think that it's gonna hit five billion again, then it's going to put the price at. Well, actually, they release tokens, so most likely, if it hits five billion now, the price will be as opposed to. And you should. Everyone should really keep that in consideration because coins do that. They release tokens and then they never hit the all-time highs again. I'm not saying that for a graph. I'm just saying that's what coins do. Because look, you know, the price was two dollars and twenty nine cents at a market cap of you know two point nine billion, and then they release tokens, and it's five billion. But the price here is a dollar, right? So now, if it goes back up, or even if it, let's just say it hits six billion, uh, for math purposes, that's in four x. So four times 10, 40, 24, 60, That would put the market cap at sixty four cents, right? And then. So that would put the price at 64 cents and then that would put the market cap above the previous um, market cap high uh, because the circulation supply has increased. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Um, but, and that's usually what happens like when, when these coins fall by so much, right? The 600 retracement all of a sudden becomes like out of reach. Um, so let's see. So that means that for, for that means that for the graph to be considered macro bullish, it needs to get above six one the six one eight, which is a dollar and eighty cents, which would be a fifteen x from the current price, and a fifteen x would clearly put this price at uh, around twenty billion market cap. Uh, not that it can't happen, because obviously if it has um, a real world use and everything like that, and I think the graph is a good coin. Um, based on their partnerships. I think they're like partnered with uh, a couple of big names, um, but uh, so it's very possible, but just keep that in mind. Uh, please like, subscribe, comment. Thank you so much for your support.